Hello, this is Nyx, and welcome back to Cattails. It sounds like a very windy spring day. Ooh, we have a thunderstorm going on. Well, in the last episode, we had a bit of a storm, or I guess a fight with some bats, that took a lot out of us. This is after taking a lot of golden seal and marigold to try and heal up and getting a good night's sleep. So, yeah, we definitely took a lot out of us during that fight. And now, hopefully we'll be completing another pillar today and seeing what our next task is. Hopefully not quite something as um, difficult. Alright, let's step on outside and see how this thunderstorm looks. I really don't think Grim wants to go out, but, oh, we have no choice. Look at this. Alright, what's our task for today? Feeling extra sneaky? We need someone to catch 10 prey of any sort. Let's give it a shot. An emerald is always something we could use, and we need to go fishing anyways, and that counts as prey. You ever met the mole folk? Strange underground dwellers, that's what they are. They live, they like to mine deep into the earth and collect gemstones. I think their lifestyle is pretty silly. Oh, slip. Gemstones are very pretty and worth quite a bit, actually, so I wouldn't say it was silly. Hello, Grampy. Wasn't I telling you a story? No, no, you were not. <laughs> He's now talking about squirrels. <sighs> Everyone's still in bed, and I don't really blame them. Savannah. Ugh, I hate thunderstorms. It makes my fur all damp. Oh, I'm sorry, Savannah. Alright, let's sit out here for a second. We need to talk to Mossy. She should be out in any minute now. Come on, Mossy. There you are. How you doing? Just in time. You know, lately I get bored in the meadow. Isn't that weird? I mean me, bored of all these free flowery smells. But sometimes I can't wait and I want to look for you instead and see what you're doing. You're always so full of adventures and stories, Grim. Aw, Mossy, you're so sweet. And Alyssa, anything for me today? Any news? You have proven your worth in this colony, Grim. I have a lot of respect for what you do. Well, I think that is a better reward than any item she could ever give us. Alright, I found this Valerian immediately thought about you. Here, you can have it. Thank you, Nil. We might use it. Might not. We definitely will not be giving it to Oracle, who is apparently off doing something. I don't know what he does in the mornings. Alright. Now, we need to look for fish. I want to get some more... Um, where is it? Yes, I want to get a little bit higher with my reputation with the forest colony as well. So, let's take some stuff to the colony. We'll take a roundabout way up the river. Pop on into our den so we can dry off a little bit. Um, maybe they'll like a fish? I'm not sure what forest colony cats would like. A little bit of that, a little bit of that. There we go. We'll see how that works. I do think that there is probably a spot around here I could use Valerian on, like maybe down by the beach area. We'll see. Alright, let's head on out. Take our usual path up the river to look for fish. We still need one catfish. I'm not sure what our chances of finding a catfish are. Hopefully the rain helps. I mean, most games, rain increases fishing. We'll see if it works in cattails as well. So far, not seeing much. So I'm not very... Yeah, not very promising. This area usually has something. Maybe once we finish off our fishing task, that'll give us the ability to upgrade Grim's swimming skill again. Fishing and swimming kind of go hand in hand. Unfortunately, it is not doing so well for us today. Alright. Ooh, oh boy, we are in a battle. Grim is still not quite healed up from his fight with the bats, but we have to help our colony out. There we go. Oh, we definitely need some more healing herbs. Thankfully, we did find a couple, so we'll use those up. I completely forgot that this was here, even though I was thinking that we could pop on in and do the battle along our, along the way, so th that's my memory for you. Uh, still no fish. I'm thinking the rain has the 
opposite effect that I was hoping for when it comes to fish. Well, who knows? It could just be bad luck. We'll take a look around after we pop on into the forest colony and give them some gifts. And there's a couple fishing spots along the way. Ooh, here we are. A fish. This looks like another trout. I guess we will never know. We're already wet, so there's no point in using the bridge versus the river. And it helps Grim get his fishing, not fishing, swimming skills up a little bit. I know that's not how it works in this game, but I'm going to pretend it is. I don't see any birds either. I wouldn't think they'd want to be out right now. It is kind of wet and dreary. Of course, the seagulls don't care. Actually, I think they're doves. They're seagulls to me, because you find them a lot by the ocean. Alright, Sarge. Hello. How you doing? I have a couple gifts for your colony. Uh, golden seal? 38. We're getting there. Uh, do you guys like fish? Uh, 41. And how about <laughs> a lavender, which that was completely pointless to use here. Anything? Uh, 44. Okay, we're getting pretty good there. Let's take a little bit of a trip around the river then and look for fish. Maybe we'll go down towards the ocean because we do need a couple ocean fish as well. So we'll follow the river down to the ocean today. Hopefully we'll find something, some kind of fish to help us out to complete our quest. All right, I think right down here we'll find some water. Ooh, that looks like some rough water. We'll follow this on down and hopefully find some goodies along the way. Any fish? Any fish for me? I'm still not seeing much of anything, and I'm really thinking this rain is throwing off our chances of finding fish. Ooh! There's a fish! Is this, this looks kind of like maybe a catfish. Mm, that kind of looks more like a trout. Can I pick it up, please? A bass. No, we need a sea bass. I don't think that counts. Another black hair. We'll be finding those all over the place now that we no longer need them. Let's walk right on down the middle here. Keep an eye out for any kinds of fish. Ooh, I hear fighting. Ooh. Fighting. Some catnip. A turtle. That I missed because... You know, turtles are so fast. We got some free mews, though. Thank you, guys. Although that probably scared off, like, all of our fish. So, unfortunate. Hmm. Anyways. We are now at the ocean. Let's see if we can find any ocean fish. I think we'll have better chances over this way. Yes. Alright, this is swimming. We don't want to be swimming. Let's just walk along the beach here, see if there's anything for us to catch. That looks like a fish. They are actually really hard to see. But, we caught one. A mackerel that- oh, hello ocean! <laughs> We're meeting ocean by the ocean, but I don't want to fight you today, so there we go. Mackerel is one that we needed. In fact, we need a mackerel and two sea bass. So I think the mackerel might have been the more rare one? Possibly? I have no idea. Any seashells? Mm, there's a couple. We'll get a couple of these for our leader, because she really does like the seashells. Alright, let's hope Ocean has um, Nope, Ocean has not taken his leave. Goodbye, Ocean. Please, why are you so fast? Alright, and then turn. Nope. Turn? Come on, I need to line up the shot. There we go. Grim! Oh, no! Bring my help! Okay, thank you. I guess I didn't really need that, but I was doing kind of bad. Let's eat this, because my food was pretty low. Alright, oh, and it's already 8.30? Jeez. This night went by fast. Day, I guess. Ah, scared it away. I think that was probably our bass. We'll take one last peek around over here. See if there's any goodies that we might want to catch. I'm not seeing much. And 
We'll just follow the rest of the beach and then warp on home. We did get one thing. Oh, that's just a rock. Alright. We got one goodie at least. Let's head on home. Curl up in bed after this long, long thunderstorm. Here we are. Alright. I'm going to empty my inventory out real quick and then we will head to bed and have another good day of fishing tomorrow. Alright. I have cleared everything up that we need to clear out. It's time to curl up in bed and try and hopefully dry off. Ah, <sighs> much better. Sunny, perfect, just what we need. All right, let's head on out now, Grim. Ah, isn't that so much better? What do we have for our task today? I didn't do anything with yesterday's four squirrels. Not particular about the fur color. Payment is a ruby and some... All right, we'll have to keep an eye out for squirrels as well. I'm very bad about doing those tasks, but might as well accept them while we get the chance. And we might get something. Hello, Slip. How are you doing? Nice day today. Wouldn't you agree? You're free to join me and soak up some sun. Um, I don't know if we have time for that today, Slip, but I appreciate the offer. It's certainly worth soaking up the sun a little bit after that storm yesterday. I am sick, sick with spring fever. Well, I, I don't know if I want to be infected with that right now. But, yeah. You do you, Crampy. Uh, she loves spring, doesn't like pollen. Mossy, anything? The flowers are beginning to bloom. I love watching the meadow at this time of year. It changes every day. I wonder what new blossoms we can find out here tomorrow. Looks like Mossy's got her plans for today all sorted. And Alyssa. What's new in your life, Grim? I know that you travel quite a bit. Remember to stay outside of the other colony's borders as you journey. That is, unless you're looking for a fight. You look like you could handle yourself in a battle, Grim. <laughs> you have a bit more confidence in me than I, than I do, but here, we'll give you a couple scallops for that lovely compliment. Alright, anything else? Oops, we do have one more scallop. Here you go, Alyssa. Perfect. We'll have to butter up the leader just a touch. Hopefully that'll help us out. Alright, and we have one squirmish that we could probably pop our head on in. We have some catnip we want to give to the forest colony, and hopefully either a catfish or a couple sea bass that we will be catching today. This does not look like a catfish, but what do I know? I'm a cat, not a fish expert. Trout. See? I knew it. Ooh, that'll be useful. And a bass. That is not quite as useful. But we at least got a couple things, and we have some food now for lunch. Any other goodies? There was some marigold up here I wanted to pick. All right, ooh, that, that is what I'm thinking is the catfish. This red fish right up here. We have two chances at this. Ooh, we scared the first one away. We have one more chance. This one seems to be wanting to hang out up there. This is not the best situation. Let's try and sneak up on it from this way. Okay, just a little bit closer. If I can get right to the edge of the water. Okay, and pounce. Nope, not quite close enough. <sighs> well, we have plenty more that we can try and catch. This looks like another trout. I'm not all that interested. Wow, you have some jump on you. <laughs> I just wanted to see if I could catch it. I wasn't really actually trying to jump that far, but Grim is very determined today, apparently. Any other goodies? Any fish? Anything? Lots of toads. Here's a fish. Nope. Alright. Uh, yes, I'm definitely thinking that the red fish is probably the catfish that we're looking for. So if we just like scare off any prey, that didn't scare him off because he just went into the border, but hopefully it won't cause any issues. I think it is because there's not anything around. Alright, let's continue on making our way towards the beach. If we can get the sea bass, that is not the one I was expecting to complete, but that'll at least be one completed today. Oh, look at all this catnip. The forest colony is going to be very happy with us today. We should probably... Pick up the pace a bit and make your way over there now. Lots of birds. 
couple of our friends hanging out here. Mystic Cat Colony friends. Mystic Colony Cat friends. But still, no catfish. Hmm. Disappointing. Alright, let's keep an eye out on our way up to the forest colony. Real quick, though. Let's eat this trout. And maybe a golden seal. Because I believe we are not too far off from a battle. Yep, here we go. Oop, okay. Not a horrible battle. That was quite quick and a lot easier than I was expecting. So, alright. Although I think battling the forest colony definitely lowers our reputation. So we want to be careful with how many battles we do with them. Any other goodies around here? A squirrel? Ooh, we do have a quest to catch squirrels, don't we? So we might as well catch these two while we're here. Perfect. That's all the squirrels? Alright. Yes, we definitely need to pick up the pace. It is already 5pm and we've done nothing. I mean, we did catch a couple fish. So. Not exactly nothing but not as much as I wanted to complete today. Oh no! Ginger, you're scaring my squirrel away! And I'm assuming that's not going to be a catfish, so I'm not going to bother fighting Ginger for it. Because every time we fight the forest colony, I do believe it takes down our reputation, and I would rather avoid that. But we're very close to their camp, just a little bit further, and we can hopefully pop on in. Talk to Sarge, I believe, is their border patrol. And give them some goodies. Alright, here we are. Anyone? Sarge? Sarge? Where are you? I need to speak with you before everyone goes to bed. Here we go. I have a lot of catnip. Um, 49, alright. This will give us up to 50. Reputation 54. I'll tell the colony that they should start offering their services as well. You seem trustworthy enough. Alright, and let's... One more. 59, perfect. Now, I want to check out their shop. We haven't done any shopping in a different colony before. I want to see if they have any goodies that we might need for the Forest Guardian. Allow me to introduce myself, then call me Ember. I run the store around here. I've got lots and lots of stuff for sale, but I can only sell to cats that our colony trusts. Well, I think you trust me. Yes! Great. Let's buy. Alright. Uh, mouse, dove, rabbit, nothing too important. Tiger, butterfly. We do need two of those. And we have the money. So let's buy a couple of those. Perfect. Ooh, we could change to a nice red cat. We already have black. Not too bad for colors. A sweater? Oh, a little bell? Oh, a red scarf. Okay, I have to leave before I spend all my money at your shop, Ember. But I very, very much appreciate all of your goodies. Let's stop at the temple, though, on our way home. Drop off some of the stuff we got. And see if maybe we've completed another task? Possibly? Or maybe we'll find a catfish along the way? I don't- there is a river along the way, so we could get lucky. Or maybe a couple birds? Cardinal and a blue jay, specifically? I'm not- I'm not seeing anything. Um... and no fish either. Alright, we'll have to try again tomorrow. Let's stop by the temple, drop off some of our things, and then head on home and head to bed. Okay, what do we got? This is our catfish that we have not caught. I believe this is some other kinds of fish, which we have caught a mackerel. So we just need two more sea bass. Um, we do have the butterflies, which just leaves one ladybug. So all of these are like one thing away, except for this one. Blue Jay Cardinal, Blue Ladybug, um, Sea Bass, and Catfish. So we're getting very close to completing the Forest Guardian's quest. Alright, let us 
warp on home and curl up for bed. <sighs> Gremlin, you've had a very long day. A very long productive day. Lots of ladybugs. No blue ones so far. Lots of valerian. Lots of fish. Unfortunately, so far not the couple ones that we've been looking for. Hopefully tomorrow we'll find them. And lots of other goodies. Oh boy. And I think this is going to be all for this episode. I'm going to completely clear out my pockets so tomorrow we can hopefully find the last few things we need to complete at least one of the pillars. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, subscribe for more, and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye guys! <laughs>